Hey everyone. All right. It is Wellness Wednesdays. We are here for another conversations for vitality for you. Uh, joining me today, as always, every Wednesday is Ariel Jarvis. Hi, Ariel. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, of course, am James Gardner. Thanks for joining us. Uh, this is where we get together every Wednesday, share a little insight into uh, the work that we do. Uh, as part of Italian Wellness World and uh, some of the insights that we have in terms of health, wellness, mindset, just living a life that we are all entitled to live. Uh, so today, actually, Ariel, I'm really excited about today's conversation. Uh, it, it came up at the tail end of uh, last week's combo, which, uh, which was about uh, gut health, mental health, and, and tying that into the brain. And then, of course, today, uh, we're going to talk about um, the uh, nervous system disorders, the, the, the four main culprits of, um, of neurological um, conditions that many, uh, including my mother and, uh, and, and some friends, parents suffer with, that is Alzheimer's, dementia, MS, and Parkinson's. Is that correct? Did I get the four right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So why don't we start with what, like, what is, I mean, we just labeled four neurological conditions. What, what, what does that mean? What, what are we dealing with? So neurological is brain. And what happens is your brain is like a sponge. Okay. And so it is full of dendrites, axons, neurotransmitters, chemicals, chemistry, everything. And everything that you eat, the neurons in the gut, send sensory output to the brain and nutrition to the brain so that the brain can start to optimize. And there are so many intra, you know, so many different parts to the brain that um, require nutrition. The brain is mostly water and fat. And so, and electricity, right? You need electrical impulses. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is what you eat catches up with you. And what our society does nowadays is a lot of people are over consuming starches and sugars. And so think of the brain as all these beautiful capillaries and arteries going through and everything it needs. Um, there's all these little uh, pipes and sometimes the pipes get plugged. And when the pipes get plugged, you get pressure buildup, you get congestion, you get toxicity and you get lack of oxy oxygen. The brain needs oxygen. There's a lot of fundamentals. So what happens is neurological development goes down. We start to notice things like chronic headaches and migraines. We start to notice things with our eyes, you know, vision will go down. We'll start to notice more forgetfulness. We'll start to notice that we space out more. We're not as present. We'll start to notice things like forgetting where you put things or forgetting conversations that you had. These are all telltale signs that the nutrition is not being met by the brain. So right now, there are a lot of people that are suffering as we get older. The elderly are really suffering from neurological disorders. And the amazing thing is the brain is neuroplastic, meaning it actually will start to repair and regrow new cells even after they've been damaged. Concussions, you name it. So there's always hope. We don't give false hope, but there's mm. always hope. And I've worked a lot with geriatrics. I've worked a lot with um, elderly patients where we start to see recovery even after they've been in such, you know, chronic states of neurological undermining. So things like MS, Parkinson's, uh, dementia, Alzheimer's. So if you are suffering or you know someone suffering from these, I encourage you to start changing your diet now. So number one is cut out the sugar. Refined sugars are going to destroy the conductivity of the brain. Number two, really focus on a high essential fatty acid diet. Essential meaning daily. That's what essential means. And then fatty acids, that's what your brain needs to, for conductivity and for supporting those uh, neurotransmitters and the chemistry in the brain. So things like salmon, omega-3s, DHEA, APA, things like avocados, walnuts. Did you ever notice that a walnut actually looks like the brain? They don't just do that for fun. It's it, there's a purpose, um, <laughs> right? Um, you've got your uh, avocado oil. You've got your coconut oil. You've got your would eggs. that be 
would that be the the MCT oil? Does that is the MCT that oil? Right? MCT yeah. stands for medium chain triglycerides. Triglycerides are a fat. Medium chain means that the fat is in a chain, but it's a medium size, so it fits perfectly in a lock and key method in the brain. Mm. And so it's just like having the correct key for the correct lock. Beautiful. And so yeah. that's what's going to happen is if you're using the wrong key for a specific lock, you're never going to open that and you're never going to unlock it. So we want to allow you to unlock and optimize those brain neurological patterns. The second thing is water. Water is not the same. Certain water can only pass through the blood brain barrier. It has to have a negative charge. And this is Kangen water. And this is what we use because Kangen water has had tremendous testimonials on and science to back it up that it can actually pass through the blood brain barrier, removing those harmful toxins that are blocking neurological development and restore cellular development, cellular re rehabilitation and sending the nutrients that we're talking about to those areas for perfection in contact. So you want to have a high essential fatty acid diet. You also want to have a high um, berry diet. So you want to eat lots of berries, you want to eat lots of greens, green inside, clean right. inside. So right. if you start consuming a high fat, high fruit and vegetable diet, and yes, there's protein in salmon, there's protein in your nuts. So you're going to get what you need. You're not yeah. going to be deficient and you drink adequate water. You are on the right road. However, now we have some other options available to enhance performance. And these are called nootropics. Nootropics would be your medicinal mushrooms. And this is a whole new breakthrough in science. This is incredible because it does something called neurogenesis. As we start to get older, the dendrites start to shrivel up. And so if you have two dendrites, they're in contact like this and they're sending uh, sensory impulses to each other. When you start to develop underlying health conditions neurologically, meaning the brain, they start to shrivel up and they don't because they're not contacting anymore. So how are you supposed to send that sensory output? And so what happens is you can actually regrow that through lion's mane and mm -hmm. psilocybin, which is a psychoactive mushroom. It is incredible. And there's so much science to back it up. And this is something that people are starting to use now. And it is, we've been using it in our clinic and it's been super profound. So I encourage you to play around with that. And I also encourage you to really work on your gut microbiome because that is going to really help the, the whole entire brain as an ecosystem. So probiotics and having healthy bowel movements, making sure you're not constipated and making sure that you're getting enough electrolytes. Electrolytes are like electricity. So that is your trace minerals, your magnesium, your calcium, your iron, all those things. Very, very important. Mm. So the good news, one of the things, I mean, I wrote down a bunch of stuff, but obviously the brain, as you said, has the ability to repair and kind of regenerate. So for, for, for people that like, you know, for example, my mom is in a home across the country, must be halfway across the world at this point. Um, so it's very limited. I, I really can't uh, impact, uh, but there are, I have a colleague who visits her mom regularly. Like what, you know, what can be done um, for the elderly now that are, um, you know, kind of on the downward slide, let's say, of, of Alzheimer's. Let's use this as an example for myself. Uh, to at least, is, is there, a, is there a, a, a no turning back point, I guess, is my, my question to you in terms of that ability to repair and regenerate. If someone has a pulse and their heart is still beating, then you have, there's no way to know how they're going to respond to the proper nutrition. Um, we had mentioned this before, but you have, so every single cell in the body has 0.7 millivoltage of energy. However, if you times that by 75 trillion cells, you're a walking bomb, an atomic mm -hmm. bomb. You have so much potential energy inside of you. We just need to utilize it. And so fruit and vegetables and certain uh, plant foods they actually have a lot of stored energy ATP that if we actually put those together and create our own little internal formulations and then we ingest it, we can have something called um, a superfood. And so what I always encourage people to do with the elderly is most of them have dentures. Most of them don't really have an appetite. 
you know, they're very forgetful. You know, if someone is there that can take care of them, I always encourage making them um, a super smoothie where you've got everything they need in it and you give it to them at least once a day or twice a day or three times a day. And it's about consistency and Ooh. it's about removing the garbage. There's no cheat days. They're called poison days, especially when you're on the road to recovery. And I always like to use the analogy how food is medicine, but people can overdose on medicine and they can also overdose on the bad foods, just like you can overdose on your medications. And when we're going through a repair or a rehabilitation program using nutrition and plant medicine, it's very important that you cut out all the other garbage because it's going to mix up with the chemistry and it's going to change it inside the gut and then it's going to affect the brain. So when you're having cheat days, think of it as... I'm going to use this analogy, but coming out of rehab and you're like, oh, I'm just going to do a little bit of heroin just once in a while, like once a year. It's no big deal. No, mm. not when you're going, you know what I mean? So I want people, I know that's an extreme, but when we're dealing with dementia, Parkinson's, MS, you know, these different neurological disorders, you need to take it seriously, especially when you're already diagnosed. And so something you can do is change your water. And in the smoothie, I would encourage you to put the lion's mane. I would encourage you to put the MCT. I would encourage you to put chia or hemp seeds, a little mm -hmm. bit of avocado. I would encourage you to put in some berries, some coconut milk or coconut water and some sort of green. So spirulina, corella, phytoplankton, you literally have like so much stored potential ATP, macronutrients, micronutrients, you got everything in there. And because it's a liquid, it doesn't require as much energy to break down and it's yeah. going to absorb into the bloodstream right away. And it's going to go and nourish the brain because that's where the body's going to put it, especially when you're drinking Kangen water throughout the day. So these are just some little tips that I would encourage you is get a little magic bullet, put it in uh, the uh, loved one's room, get a little mini fridge, put a couple of your little things in there and maybe they have a nurse. Maybe they have someone that checks on them every single day get them to make one of these smoothies at least once to three times a day. Yeah, that, you know, that's, <laughs> let me get on my soapbox for a moment, but I, you know, like when I went to visit my folks in the nursing home, you know, it, it, it's like the, the, the shit I used to have in cafeteria when I was in elementary school. It's like, really? You know, and, and I, I understand, well, no, actually I don't understand. There's, there's no way around it. I mean, it, everything costs money. I get it. But I look at what they're doing to promote a healthy lifestyle or at least a comfortable lifestyle for those that are aging in place, wherever that is. And I'm like, there's nothing healthy on that tray. I don't understand it. I, you know, and actions are louder than words, my friend. If someone is running a business and they say they actually care about their clients, and that they're taking all these measures to make sure that they're comfortable and they're focusing on their health, but they're feeding them a bunch of garbage, then it just doesn't add up, right? What they're saying is not matching their actions. Hmm. You can say everything you want and market all you want, but are you putting that into action? Are you actually seeking the proper nutrition? Are you giving them the proper water? Or are you just filling a space collecting a paycheck so that you can have the next number when they go. Right. Gets back to that relationship versus transactional approach of business. Right. Uh, so question, uh, you know, what is, let me ask you straight up because we don't hold punches here. I mean, what's preventing modern Western medicine from getting on this train and, and, and prescribing more, uh, I use the term prescribing, but you know, plant-based nutrition, everything you laid out. I mean, you know, to you and I, we live this like, yes, I, thankfully so, I don't have a neurological explain, condition, yeah. but, I, but I eat this way. Like yeah. it's what I do. Yeah. Right. So there's two columns. There's Western medicine and Eastern medicine. Eastern medicine is what I do. It's been around for 2000 years. Western <clears throat> medicine has been around for 200 years. They have their own scope of practice. You don't go out of the scope of practice. And with Western medicine, it's very much like a box. You've got your, you know, your chronic, your acute, your medications, yada, yada, yada. And it's a system, right? You follow the system. 
and it works and it works for a lot of people. You get a car accident, you have a broken bone, you need a surgery, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's great. However, there is a shift happening. A lot of, uh, amazing, uh, you know, medical doctors are starting to wake up and realize that water, nutrition, lifestyle habits, exercise, sleep, they all play a role. And we do have a lot of amazing doctors that are becoming fun, uh, mm. functional doctors where they went to go become a medical doctor. And then now they're bringing in the nutrition and holistic into their practice. Now they're becoming a functional doctor and functional is allowing us to function properly and thrive in our own body using whatever buffet of options that individual needs. It's more customized, right? Nice. You might need surgery for your broken arm. You might need probiotics for your, your gut lining, or you might need adrenal support for your energy levels, like all these different things. And that's where the shift is starting to happen, which is incredible. Which is exactly what we do specifically you do when clients come to see you, you know, yeah. you, you put them through a, a testing protocol of a series of tests and lo and behold, there is a unique blueprint uh, for a plan of action based on their individual cellular design. Yeah. Right? Optimize one cell. You have 75 trillion cells. Just duplicate that information gets passed on. Now you have a healthy organism. Right. Right. Amazing. Um, so just to, just to kind of recap here, uh, use the term plugged earlier when we we're talking about the brain. And, and so, so basically for the layman out there, crappy food plugs our brain. It plugs <laughs> everything. It plugs everything. Yeah. You have your own piping system. You have your cardiovascular system, which is just a bunch of pipes. You have your lymphatic system, you have your intestinal system, you have your neurological system, you have your central nervous system. You have so many different systems, yet it's just like plumbing. What you put, sometimes you can't put everything down the drain. You know, we're not a garbage dump. And so certain things are going to plug up the system, right? Right. And then you have consequences. And then you're also going to have pressure buildup. Pressure buildup is pain. So eventually now the body has to overcompensate and recalibrate. So why are we and then that way that takes time and energy we don't have time and energy we got a lot of stuff to take care of already in the body so you're now taking precious time that the body can focus on the thyroid the immune system hormonal balance detoxification all these fundamental things but instead it's focusing on the mcdonald's you just ate or it's focusing on the binging that you just did or it's focusing on you know, whatever bad habits that you have, even if they're not daily, over 54 weeks out of the year, they're consistent enough for the body to have to recalibrate. Yep. It's not rocket science. No. Right? It just, but it takes yeah. time because people don't think like this. And this is what we're doing. We're creating critical thinkers. We're creating independent health soldiers. We want you to not be a reoccurring customer. We want you to be independent with your health so you don't need us anymore. You're right. confident and you're independent and you can go out there and you can teach uh, health to home, to your family, to your wife, to your husband, to your extended family. That's what we're about. We're about the ripple effect. Amazing. Amazing. Love that, Ariel. Um, anything, I mean, you've given some good steps uh, in terms of, of, uh, you know, cutting out the refined sugar, essential fatty a acids, right? The MCT oil, avocado, so forth. Obviously, again, the right water, um, canyon water, the right water, which is, I believe you said, a negative charge water crosses that blood brain barrier, correct? Correct. It has that to be small good. enough. Yeah. And so yeah. we've noticed with the canyon water, the canyon water, the particles are the smallest particles on the, uh, on the periodic table. And they have the correct charge so they can pass through the blood brain barrier. Not all water is the same. And if you want to test your water just for fun, you can do a fun little test mm -hmm. at home, go on Amazon, get an ORP meter, put the stick in your water. And I encourage you to take a look at it. I bet you nine times out of 10, unless it's drinking canyon water, you're drinking positive charge. Positive charge is adding acid to the environment, raising 
inflammation internally in localized areas that you are already weakened. Right. Yeah. Amazing. I've seen it firsthand when we tested, you know, some water in Langley over here in the mainland. Nasty crazy, stuff. crazy. Yeah. Um, anything you'd like to add as a, as a, as a kind of farewell to this conversation for our community out there? Amino acids, actually just quick little chat. People don't eat enough protein, you guys. And I don't mean go out and eat a steak. I mean, bioavailable protein, good quality protein. If you want to eat meat, chicken, turkey, eggs, fish, as long as it's wild, organic, antibiotic free, or you can eat plant-based options. There are a list of plant-based options. Just keep the starches low if you have any of these neurological disorders we're talking about, because the starches are going to glum everything up and plug everything up. The other thing that you want to think about is adequate water and consistent eating small meals multiple times a day throughout the day because it's gonna balance blood sugar. Think of your stomach as a blender. You don't stuff the blender because things then can't break down properly and you get undigested food that go into the small intestine and then the bad bacteria feed on that and now you have dysbiosis, which is an imbalance in bacteria. We don't want that. So you need to eat consistently throughout the day, protein, fats, protein, fats. That is what's gonna help your brain. Love that. I do want to ask you one question based on what you just shared with us. Um, Cause you just champion protein. Uh, why? Why is pro protein is what's going to help you with the amino acids. Amino acids is all to do with your immune system. Your white blood cells are made out of amino acids and same with all of the important uh, dopamines, oxytocins, all the happy endorphins, all the um, neurotransmitters, you need the fats, you need the proteins, and you need the water. Beautiful. All right. Awesome Good. sauce, Ariel. Great awesome. stuff. Thank you so much. Gang, thank you for tuning in. Very important conversation. Feel free to keep this thread going. Engage, ask questions. We'd love for you to like and share this. Uh, this is about us uh, sharing and helping, um, uh, you know, bringing health to home and, and vitality back to each of us one cell at a time. Ariel, mad love to you, and uh, we'll see you all soon. All right. Next time, Wednesday, 9.30. Bye. You got it.